Hello everyone, welcome to Beaver's Hobby Channel. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the final version of the FuryTech Momentum, which is the best brushless sensorless ESC right now. And I'll also show you how to install and set it up. And here's the package. This is the final version that you're gonna get when you buy it. It is the combo ESC and Bluetooth module. So, let's open it up and see what's inside. Comes in a zip lock pack. Hmm. Here we have the manual. And let's see how well written it is. So it comes with everything you need to know. only one page hmm. and you can use it with both brush mortar and brushless mortar which is really good all in one ESD it is so and here's the ESC it comes in a box like this with some wrapping and also a wire with a standard plug for a standard receiver which is fantastic so let's open this up and see what's in the box inside we have the ESC and the bluetooth module So it comes pre-installed with the plug for micro receiver and because it comes with the plug for standard receiver as well so it comes ready to use with a standard receiver like this or a micro receiver like this both are viable options for you and well it comes in a shrink wrap so if you want to change the plug you're gonna have to cut this off and also if you want to remove the bluetooth to save weight or something you can you're gonna have to cut the shrink wrap off and it comes with no motor plug so you can either solder the wires directly to the motor or you can solder some plugs to it what i'll normally use is the two millimeter banana plug and here's the battery plug it comes with a jst ph two millimeter plug this is a standard size if you use uh, atomic or GL battery. So basically what you'll get when you buy this ESD, the complete package is the ESD with Bluetooth module pre-installed on it. A plug for standard receiver and a manual which is very very well written it doesn't have any plug solder to it so you're either going to have to solder them directly to your motor yourself or you can solder the plugs to it I'm gonna have to go and solder these wires with banana plug so I can test it with my car the soldering is pretty easy on this one because I use the banana or the bullet plug this is two millimeter bullet plug so first what you need to do is to strip and tin the wires
and then on the connector you can heat it from the outside and then tin the inside now heat it from the outside the solder is going to melt and now you can dip the wire in and that's pretty much it And finally, shrink wrap the connectors. You can also change the battery plug if you like. Here I have the standard JSTPH, but you can also change it to something like, uh, for example, this one has XT30, and this one has JSTSH. 2.5 millimeter plug, which is the same size as the standard balance plug. Now it is ready to go on the car. So, the next thing you need to do is to check the connector between the ESC and the motor. On the right, it is terminal A, in the middle, it is terminal B, and on the left, it is terminal C. This is when the ESC is pointing up like this. So if I flip it like this, this is going to be A, B and C. Which is perfect because on my motor, A is on the left. So I can just put it like this. A goes to A. And in the middle, B goes to B. And finally, C goes to C. Just like that. And next, I'm gonna connect this plug to the receiver channel 2. It can only go in one way, so you can't mess it up. And then, let's put this on the car. Now, I'm gonna stick it down with a double sided tape. And here it is. This is not going to be the only car I used it with. And uh, I'm gonna use it with different cars as well to, to test this ESC. So, so I use the plug and leave the wires long on purpose. Let's bundle them up together and zip tie these wires together. And next, we're gonna have to calibrate this ESC to the radio you are going to use. But before that, we're gonna go to your Android or iOS device, install the app to set up the ESC via Bluetooth. Once you've got the app installed, turn the Bluetooth on. And then go to the location setting and turn it on as well. Otherwise, it is not going to work. And then turn the car on. Welcome to Google. Just plug the battery in. It seems to be working, but you're gonna need to calibrate the ESC so it knows what is the middle throttle point, what is the maximum throttle point, and what is the minimum throttle point. So, what you need to do next is go into the app, wait for the car to show up, and press the car icon to connect to the car. On the first run, you're gonna have to insert the pin code, which is 1234. Next, 
let's check the firmware you're gonna see that it is now on the final version and next we're gonna go to the throttle and then press the calibration it is going to go into calibration mode now take your radio with it set uh, Z zero speed then click OK now click OK next is full throttle click OK and finally full reverse and click OK do you want to save? yes and it is done but now you're gonna see that it goes backwards when you pull the throttle it goes backward because the default setting is for the motor to run on the clockwise direction and in many many cars just like uh, this XRX DPA the clockwise motor direction is the reverse so we go into the running and then rotation direction go to counterclockwise and now we have the correct direction and of course because we are using the lipo battery we're gonna have to set the cutoff voltage for safety let's put it on 3.3 volt per cell which is going to cut when the battery is down to 6.6 .6 volt because it is two cell and here we can set the max forward speed max reverse speed brake and drag brake and then we can go to the telemetry and see how it works now let's see it on the floor and it is working perfectly and the last thing you might need to change is the user button right now in this default state it is doing nothing which means once you plug the battery in it is going to turn on actually it is not a very good way to use this ESC so we can go into the setting user button and then change from none to start stop so with this when I press the button the car will turn off just like that and then when I want to turn the car on I can click this switch and it is on now that everything's ready I'm gonna try and uh, put the proper battery in and have a little bit of a test run on my little desk from the setting now I can click this to turn the car on the reason I and a lot of people like Furitech because it has very little to none cocking The throttle response is just like a censored ESC, which is rapid and precise. And especially in this final version of the firmware, which I'll cover in another video, it is fantastic. So, let's do a little bit of a test one right here.
And that's it for this video. Thanks to Furitech for sending me this final version for testing. And this ESD is going to be on sale very, very soon. Uh, they're gonna start selling it this month, which is April of 2021. If you have any question, feel free to comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.